morning everyone sorry for this little delay and so welcome to today's value talk our aaj ka jo value talk hai wo is about job search and uh, how we go about it uh, there is a lot to be covered and i don't think that it will be i'll be able to cover it in entirely in today's this thing so in case i run short of time then maybe we'll do it next time we'll continue so the aim is that uh, we aim of the talk at the end of the talk this one and part two of this talk will be to get clarity on your wants and needs create accountability schedule actually ye talk maine bahut pehle kisi organization mein kari thi and it was recorded and i have just usme se i have tried to take out the things so great accountability schedule what is accountability schedule hum iske bare mein baat karenge and how to improve your resume bullets linkedin profile networking and engaging people on network so job search clarity jo hai what what does job search clarity involve basically it involves ki how you pick your target role and uh, how you pick the target companies how do you look in words and identify your skill gaps what happens is that picking the target role is not what you want whether you have alignment with that particular role or not and whether you actually know what that role does so you may like to be say a project manager in uh, some big mnc and you may have in your mind your perception of a project manager will may be totally different than what wo project manager what does he do what he actually does so picking your target role pick your target companies and identify your skill gaps if you can do these three activities you will have a considerable job search clarity how do you pick your target roles is basically you look inward first so you ask certain question this is just a suggested questions which i have written there but you ask a set of questions to yourself bhai main kis cheez mein interested hu mere paas kaun se soft and hard skills hain and what does what excites me what do i get energy from so suppose you are a person who loves working with data you are good in excel and you know sql and python etc i'm just taking an example and uh, you love working in teams and you're very good about uh, you know and getting the business insights bahut sare data ko analyze karke getting the uh, insights from those data if that is what excites you so you can write something like this that i love working with data i'm to answers to this question how we will use this we'll come to we'll see it further so you can write that i love working with data i am great at working in teams i am good in financial modeling i sql and uh, i get excited by an, analyzing data for businesses i get my energy from that etc etc so once you and somebody can have four five questions somebody can have more number of questions and uske answers jab likhoge to you you are basically looking inwards ye sare answers aapko khud pata honge for example if you have been in some kind of uh, if uh, in your armed forces tenure i am sure that a lot of people are from armed forces so armed forces tenure mein suppose you were involved in uh, ensuring security of a strategic asset for example shrinagar airport ठीक है तो आप उसमें इन्वॉल्व थे उसमें क्या चीजें तुम आपने करी वट एवर बूम बैरियर्स दिस दैट कैमराज एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड यू फाइंड दैट यू नो इट एक्साइट्स यू इट इज समथिंग व्हिच यू लव कि इस तरह के स्ट्रेटेजिक असेट्स का सिक्योरिटी प्लानिंग एक्सेट्रा सो यू कैन राइट दैट वट एम आई वट एम आई इंटरेस्टेड इन आई लव प्लानिंग सिक्योरिटी ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजिक असेट्स एक्सेट्रा आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल सो वंस यू हैव रिटर्न दिस यू हैव सेलेक्टेड for five six seven set of questions for yourself for looking inwards what am i interested in mere paas kaun se soft and hard skills hain what i'm passionate about mere ko kis se excitement hoti hai kis cheez se energy milti hai is ye sab cheeze jab aap answer karenge to uh, you will have certain amount of clarity now what will happen is 
once you have answered these questions, you can, a lot of people use different methods to search for the job titles that align with your answers. So, you have to do a exercise si, to basically know what you are looking for. That is something only you can answer. I may be interested in driving large projects. You may be interested in planning for security of large installations. Right. So it may be it varies. The answer to these questions will vary from person to person. So once you have answered these questions, then next step is to search the job titles that align with your answers. If I have to do it, I will I will do either of these or all of these three things. In fact, all of these three things. So you can use chat GPT, LinkedIn, and then you can have real conversations chat gpt kaise use karni already we had already uh, conducted a talk or maybe two talks uh, and i will just take a minute to tell you if you are not using chat gpt is just the start whether it is chat gpt bard or anything else if you have not started using it then you know you are missing out on something because your competitors have started using it so start using it. It is time that you start adopting technology and start using it, especially the kind of technology which is helping you. So look at chat GPT, look at Notion, look at uh, Descript. There are many such tools which have come in the market which will be very helpful for you. We digressed a little bit that uh, on chat GPT. So if you are not using these tools, it is time that you start using these tools. So Notion is for, you know, working on projects, collaboration, etc. You, you will have to Google it, see it. Similarly, chat GPT, I had, a, I had done a detailed talk on how you can use chat GPT to your advantage in your job search. And uh, not only in your job search, in your interviews, in your resume, in your uh, whatever you want to do. So, so you have to search for job titles that align with your answers the question which you, you asked when you did the exercise for looking inwards so you do chat gpt linkedin and conversations right so by chat gpt the end goal is through chat gpt by asking giving the right prompt you will get five to seven roles which align with your answers and on linkedin you get three to five three four uh, job descriptions for those roles and then you have real-time conversation with people who are actually on those roles so that is the kind of methodology you should follow you can follow and i recommend that you should follow so what why we are doing this why there is a why you should look inwards is basically because people leave jobs in for six months because and people leave jobs after joining very good companies also. I have seen people joining Wells Fargo. I have seen people joining Good Reliance, etc. And But when they joined the job, in their mind, there was something else that this is what I am going to do. But once they land that job and they join it, they realized that they were not right. So it was basically because they did not do this kind of an exercise. So it is very important that you do your due diligence and you know what your job role is going to be. So usme, first of all, you have done. So that is why we did this exercise. Aapne pehle, you looked inwards, asked certain questions. And based on those uh, answers to those questions, you went to chat GPT. You gave a prompt, which we'll talk about. And then you got... In return, you basically narrowed down to five to seven roles, which which will which align with your answers. And then you went to LinkedIn, you took out the job descriptions for that role. And then you also search for people who are in that role and you talk to them. So that if understanding there is any gap in understanding, you think you want to do, uh, you want to join, say, LNT in project management role. Okay, and you have a certain perception about what that role is going to do. So, aapne LND, LinkedIn per search kiya, you connected with someone on LinkedIn and you saw project manager at LinkedIn working as project manager in LNT. You connected with that guy, 
and then requested for a call and then you spoke to that person you speak to that person and then you get to know what that job is all about and whether it aligns with what you were thinking that job to be so usme usme agar mismatch nahi hai to yes you can go ahead but agar usme mismatch nikal jata hai after talking to that person to then maybe you will not be happy even if you get that job aur ye kaise pata lagega after doing all this exercise only so this is just a example the prompt which you can give so you can give chat gpt can you give me five job titles i would like based on this information copy paste your resume here okay and then say i love you remember this these questions these answers you gave i love working with data i am great at working in teams sql financial modeling python analyzing data for businesses so you have just written these things here i love working with data i am great at working in teams i know sql and financial modeling and whatever is your answer and i love analyzing data for businesses so you have given chat gpt ki aapko kya acha lagta hai kya wo kya aapke interest hain what excites you everything all inside you have given to chat gpt and based on this it is uh, you are trying to get the job roles so you get something so you get the answer data analyst business in, intelligence analysis financial anal analyst data scientist etc etc so it gives you all kind of answers and then you see whether of course at the end of the day it is ai which is giving you answers so you have to do your due diligence and see whether it actually is giving you the right answers or not but if your prompts are right you will get it will be of great help so then you go to linkedin and start looking for Uh, data analyst pick up the pick up the job description so picking the target role then you see then uh, you go through the checklist to see if you would like the role or not would i like the work would i learn from this role will i get uh, that excitement and energy that uh, that i thought this kind of a role gives me is sec job security hai isme nahi hai kal ko recession ho jati hai will i be will will there be day off i mean whatever questions it's just a guideline i'm telling you so do i have the skills most important do i have the skills i need to succeed and of course whether it aligns with your long term goals now is in some me se jo ek do i have the skills i need to succeed is a very important question so then you filter down two three roles that then speak with their current employees your goal is to learn about the job about their job because aapne ye socha tha ki aapko ye job is tarah ki job karni hai lekin abhi tak whatever you have whatever perception you have about that job role is your own perception you have not spoken to anyone who's re, in that particular job role presently so you speak to them you learn about their job and similar kind of roles may be different in different companies a chief information officer's role in a it company or meta or google may be totally different than a chief information officer's role in ubl okay so you do this exercise how will you do this exercise how do how will you connect with those employees of course you will connect with those employees on linkedin filter for active users shared experience linkedin pe how do you search on linkedin uske upar bhi i had done a talk so you can search on linkedin for various things for connecting with people based on shared experience now shared experience can be a common workplace you may people have may have worked together you people may have gone to same school so same university or any other hobbies you may have been part of the same some kind of organization so based on shared experience you search for those roles and then you can send them a personalized note that you want to connect with them so action items kya the action items action item kya se you you will write down your interest and experiences you will use chat gpt to get list of target jobs you you will read the job descriptions on linkedin to filter to three four jobs and then you will go for picking up your target companies you will take help of chat gpt you will uh, oblique linkedin to find target companies 
So you list 40 plus companies in an Excel. Focus on the companies you like. So now here I must also tell you that uh, Excel is an important tool and you should know how to use Excel. Okay. Once you have made your list of companies and you have say you have laid, made list of 30, 40 companies and then on and you arrange them in say order of priority as per your liking. One, two, three, four. Then you start following them on LinkedIn and uh, then you identify your skill gap. Now, this is a very, very important thing. Copy five, six, five, ten, five to ten job descriptions from your target job title into a say Google Doc or wherever then you highlight the skills those jobs are demanding okay the ones you have mark them as green the ones you don't have mark them in red write all the skills in red which you don't have in a place i have written excel but you can write it anywhere okay aim is that first you have identified that for your target roles in your target companies these are the skills i have and these are the skills I don't have. Now you have to look for filling that gap. Okay. The skills which you don't have. Right. And how will you do that? By you can do some kind of course. You can join some kind of uh, freelancing assignments to get that kind of experience. Anything the way you want. Join some kind of uh, on maybe on uh, Udemy or Coursera or something. And Try and fill those gaps, those skill gaps, so that you have you can you can be part of some. There are uh, there are forums. I I will try and find there are forums where you get to be part of projects. You have to basically devote your time, and uh, you get uh, you don't get any compensation. It is basically so that you have you get clarity and you get experience so and you learn that skill so those kind of activities you will have to do to gain that skill to uh, fill that gap which is there in your skill set so here i will also take two minutes to tell you that uh, we and we have spoken about it that if you are using linkedin as a job search platform then you are not using it then you are not leveraging the strength of linkedin LinkedIn is not merely a job search platform. It is, uh, there is a whole lot of things on LinkedIn. There is LinkedIn learning, there is LinkedIn, your professional networking. And LinkedIn is like establishing your personal brand. And we spoke about it in our last conversation. So it is very important that you people use LinkedIn properly, not merely for this thing. And then just by we again we have spoken about it in our earlier talks that clicking and submitting your job application on linkedin is not a very good way of applying for jobs online so they, we have done a detailed series on this actually so in our next this thing we will talk about job search accountability what is job search accountability is basically that you are keeping a track of what all you have applied for Kya hua say, how many jobs did you apply for how many converted into interviews how many interviews are going to the second stage who was a contact person who was the person who is the referral in that uh, for that particular job so all these things you need to bring down on paper you need to record it log it so that is the job search accountability we will talk about it and if uh, possible i will share a template also that will be next saturday then resume breakdown what kind of uh, we'll just briefly touch upon it because we have already spoken about it a number of times how to make your resume or your your resume bullets more impactful how to use linkedin Application strategy, how do you apply online? What should be your strategy? How do you, the review metrics, uh, review metrics actually kind of same that how many, the jobs which you had applied for, how many have resulted in something and how many have not, you haven't heard from them. It's, a, it's actually kind of a repetition job search accountability I mentioned earlier. And then the networking strategy, what kind of strategy you should have what are the referrals you are looking for? Are you just looking for a referral? I am working in company XYZ. You want to join XYZ. You connect with me. 
and but we don't know each other or even even if we know we are not we are just uh, acquaintances so you ask me for a referral and i also tell the hr you can look at this guy if this is the kind of referral you're getting i'm telling you this referral is useless what you are actually looking for is a strong referral okay somebody to advocate for you so same thing if i tell the hr in my company this guy is very good i have worked with him and he has this this skill set and i think he would be perfect for this particular job role then that will make a good referral and for saying this to hr in my company i should be something in my company so that hr also listens so this is the kind of referrals you have to look for so again uh, i will share in the group two three talks which we had done earlier so that you people go through it so we will not go ahead in the next this thing we will cover all these uh, topics and now i will stop the recording Dreams on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head.